Hello folks, I'm about to show you a load of Logo Golf Balls. They've arrived in a big cardboard box. Cardboard box, I've just measured it, it's about 34cm high by 30m across, 30cm by 30cm by 34 and they've all come in egg boxes like this. So let's get to it. This is the second of three boxes of Logo Golf Balls I've bought from somebody. And brilliant idea he's come up with is to put them in egg boxes by category. So um, let me just open this up. They're all gonna, I'll have to dump them out of these because they're not going to be facing the right way around. So let's get to it. I'm going to film each logo, talk about each logo, and then film each golf ball so you can see what type of ball it's on because that helps to date the logo, if you see what I mean. You can date the ball, you can date when the logo was printed roughly. So, the Gaston Gazette. Well, I don't even know where Gaston is. But that sounds a newspaper somewhere. Um... Ultra distance. I won't say out loud the, the name if I can help it. I'll just film it so you can see what type of ball it's on. Okay. Next. The Detroit News. Well, Detroit is in Michigan, isn't it? I've never been there. And that type of ball used to get some of these somewhere between about 1988 and 1991. I would, I would, that's when I would date that type of ball. So they, when I say that, that's when the ball existed. They could have been on sale for years before that. Maybe they carried on making them for a few years after that. But that's a little bit of information I can help to try and date balls when I, when I say things like that. The Orlando Sentinel. Well, Orlando is in, in Florida. I've not been to Florida. I wouldn't mind going there. That's just somebody's pen mark. Now, as I said before... A uh, nail varnish remover can remove pen mark from golf balls quite often. But test it on a golf ball you don't mind messing up because sometimes it, it ends up, you can get quite a lot of the ink off but you end up with kind of a smudged colour of whatever you've tried to remove. It does, it's, not, it's not perfect but sometimes it can help you out. Uh, USA Today, certainly heard of this. USA Today and I remember watching the film Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger and they had, instead of USA Today, they had Mars Today, him reading newspapers said Mars Today. Well, Mars is a planet. USA is not a planet, but that's the problem. A lot of Americans seem to think that, you know, they are the centre of the universe. You're not. You're a country. And that's no offence to Americans, but it's true, though. They're, they're brainwashed into believing that somehow they run the planet. You don't. You're one country. Great country, but you're one country. And this type of ball, used to get, again, used to get this somewhere between 88 and 1991, so that's how old that is. All of these, I believe, are going to be used golf balls. So they have been hit. Um, so varying conditions. And that looks to be a, a lot yellower colour than the other balls. Yeah, you can see. It could just be because it's age age related or... I don't know. The New York Times. Uh, I've been to New York. I've certainly heard of the New York Times. I don't think I've ever bought a copy or read a copy. Um, don't know if it's any good or not. Hopefully it's not biased like so many newspapers are these days. I, there's nothing like, nobody likes biased news. Just tell us the facts. Next, newspapers. Booth of Michigan. Okay. That looks like quite a new ball, that. That's in very good condition. Not heard of that. Next, Chicago Tribune. Again, I've not been to Chicago. All's in good condition. Next. The Courier Journal. Never heard of that. Don't know where that's on sale. Um, okay. Next. Houston Chronicle. HC. Houston is in Texas. Lots of NASA buildings and equipment down there in Houston. Pinnacle Gold. Well, Pinnacle Golds, again, used to get those somewhere between about 1988 and 1991. So I believe that, that dates that ball to somewhere around then. Next. The Wall Street Journal. That's quite a famous newspaper. I mean, it gets mentioned in films and stuff and TV shows. Um... 
again I don't know how biased they are I don't know how good their journalists are do they bother to tell the truth do they bother to reveal scandals or do they just print what the banks want want you to know um, really good film with Christian Bale about the um, economic collapse in about 2008 across the world and famously that reveals just how useless um, the organisations are that are supposed to police the banks and what they do they just basically rubber stamp whatever the banks want so don't know whether they do good, good journalism or not next Detroit newspapers again Detroit Michigan so I've got Detroit news and I've got Detroit newspapers um, ball is used as you can see but the logo is okay and the last one in this particular dozen is USA weekend well that's got to be the same as USA today isn't it it's the same logo so perhaps they have a newspaper that's just sold at the weekend to cover Saturday and Sunday maybe there isn't a separate Saturday and Sunday paper um, Okie dokie, that board is used, but the logo is okay. So that's that dozen that are related to newspapers and the media. It's rather nice, isn't it? Next box we'll open. Okay. This box says assorted something. What? Assorted. what that's like. can't read that item no offense I wrote that next we'll be able to work it out when we've read for it done a few Nantucket Nantucket um I've certainly not been there I, I believe that could be a place a relative of mine been to in America on that type of ball Nantucket hmm. Next, again that type of ball that dates from at least sort of 1988, 1989 ish, possibly earlier. Military vehicles, military vehicles, that's interesting. And if, in case you're wondering, I collect all kinds of different logos, but I'm particularly interested in military and aviation. I'm, I film a lot of planes, as you can tell if you look on my YouTube account. Um, so anything military or aviation I'm particularly interested in. Uh, but I do collect all kinds of other stuff. Uh, USA Air Force officer programs. So that's a good one to have, US Air Force. And here in England, uh, we have RAF Mildenhall in Suffolk. And we also have RAF Lakenheath in Suffolk. RAF Mildenhall has KC-135 tankers to refuel fighter jets. We've also got CV-22 Ospreys at Mildenhall. And um, we've got RC-135s, and then at Lake and Heath they have F-15s, and they're soon going to be getting the F-35. Um, so rather good. Anyway, there you go, that's a nice logo for me. Uh, it's, it appears to be, yeah, it's an unbranded ball. It's not, it doesn't say tight list or anything, it's just a promotional thing. Next. Military Benefits Association, MBA. A nice kind of, I'm trying to see what colour that is, kind of a goldish colour, a golden blue. Military Benefits Association, and that is on Pro Trajectory 90. 90 means 90 compression, presumably that's like 90 pounds per square inch. Would that be, is that what it means? Is it pounds per square inch when they give you the number? It's either 90 or 100 on a lot of golf balls. And that's a fairly old tight list when it's written with Pro Traj, Pro Trajectory 90. So, again, pretty sure I used to get these somewhere like 1988 or slightly earlier. So, that's when I would try and date that to. Next. Big Stogie Cigar, that is. See, that's supposed to be a cigar. Big Stogie Cigar. Um... Yeah, don't smoke, folks. Well, I think everybody by now knows smoking causes cancer and all kinds of horrible illnesses. Just don't do it. It's not cool. Never has been cool. Okay. So you can see this is a complete mixture of 
balls. There's no one theme to these this particular box. Drink Pepsi. Well, I have to say I do like Pepsi. Pepsi Cola. Um, is that little white bit there? Is that a flaw in the logo? I can't remember if there's a white. I don't think there's supposed to be a white hole in that blue part of the Pepsi logo. Um, no, it's probably... This looks like an old ball. So Wilson... Oh, Wilson K28 Plus. Well, I definitely haven't had this type of golf ball before. So that would help date it. Um, yeah, that looks old to me. 1980s, probably. Or earlier. Uh, next... Trapped in Kenny Bunkport, Maine. All oh, right, and it's uh, supposed to be lobster, isn't it? Caught in a trap, Maine. Oh, nice. That's a good logo. It just has a number three on it. So again, some kind of unbranded ball. I like the logo though. Next. United States Army since 1775. That's a nice logo, isn't it? Look at that. Quite a bit of detail to that. I can't zoom in too much with the camcorder. You see, it's going to lose focus. So let's get it in focus. I can get I can get to about seven times zoom from about a little over an inch away, and I can get that kind of detail. Okay. Yeah. Nice logo. That. Like that. Uh, again, one of these spalling balls. Next. Uh, 820 training wing. Yeah, 820 training wing. So some fighter jet uh, wing. Don't know where that is in America. a nice logo next Mem memoriam eorum retin imbus legion okay not entirely sure what that is well ah, canadian maple leaf so it's some canadian military thing and it's got the logo on both sides of the ball so again unbranded ball that's promoting that don't know anything about that next nobra pilots n-o-b-r-a pilots and it's got a ship's wheel don't know anything about that organization uh, that's a fairly new ball. And the last one in this particular dozen is... Oh, God, what does that say? Non-Commissioned Officers Association. So again, some military organisation. Right, so that's military stuff, etc. That's that particular dozen and not all of these boxes are full there were three or four on the top just to pad out the box i think so i might be able to film all of these in one i'm going to attempt to film all these logos in one video it may end up being an hour long video but let's see how it goes right the next box is labeled gem oh there's a very discolored board in there, aren't it? look at that one there Good God, that's old. RCA Victor. Um, RCA. RCA Whirlpool. Well, Whirlpool, I know there's a Philips Whirlpool who make washing machines and stuff. RCA is presumably some kind of um, manufacturer of products like washing machines and stuff. Liquid Center Golf Ball. It doesn't have a brand to the type of ball, made in the USA, but um, RCA Victor, RCA Whirlpool. Well, you'll be able to look that up if you don't know anything about it like me and find out. But look how discoloured the ball is. So that looks like an oldie to me. I mean, that could be like from the 1970s or 1960s. Maybe. Maybe. Next. Let's just go. I've just seen another one with RCA. 
RCA color track. Well, what is that? What is color track? Never heard of that. RCA color track on a custom X18 plus uh, by Wilson. That will help to date that. Next. Crayola, and it's a Crayola crayon playing golf. Crayola, so the sort of thing you buy for kids in those green cardboard boxes, lots of different coloured crayons for them to draw on paper. Crayola, and yes, Crayola is sold in England. As I said, all of these have come from America. I'm in England, I collect logo golf balls. So if you've got a logo collection you're selling, contact me. Uh, I'm also open to doing swaps. I'm going to have doubles and duplicates of some golf balls I want to get rid of. So um, contact me and I will attempt to do some swaps with people. Right. Oh, I've seen that before. Well, that's on the HMV logo in England. We've got a record store called HMV. Um, so what's that then? And OK, RCA use that as well. So. I'm thinking musical products, recording products then, RCA, perhaps they make, used to make radios and stuff like that, I mean that's, that looks like a phonograph, the thing before record players, and that's as I said, that's on the logo for HMV in England, so RCA again, next, Pro Stuff written in red, again I don't think I've, I don't think I've had a golf ball where pro stuff has been written red. I've had them where it's written in black, I presume, like this, but um, Bears Poor. Good logo. Good name for a business or product. Ball looks really good condition, even though I'm sure this is quite old. I mean, I used to get these again somewhere between 1988 and 1990, but I'm pretty sure they date to before that even. So um, Bears Claw, don't know what that brand is. And there you go, I've just been talking about them. Crayola crayons. Eight up there, presuming that means you get eight in that particular carton they're showing off. What does that say down there? That's quite hard to read. Anyway, Crayola crayons. Next. Another Crayola one. Slightly different logo to the one I showed you before. Let's put that there. They are, they are different. Next. Sandals. Certainly seen that logo promoted as a holiday place to go. Yeah, Golf and Country Club. I'm not sure if that's Oco. Is it Oco Rios, Jamaica? Is that an O there? Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Never been to Jamaica. Jamaica? No, she wanted to. That's a joke. Think about it. Did you make her Jamaica? No, she wanted to. Get it? Try not to crack any lips or laughing hard to that. All right, anyway, sandals. Yep, certainly heard of them. Next. This is an old type of ball. Dunlop. Uh, is it Blue Max? Yeah. Blue Max Fly. Very good condition ball, because I think these are quite old. Miller High Life. Well, Miller is um, beer, isn't it? So, alcoholic drink, Miller High Life. Good condition ball. I don't know what what date you'd put on that ball there. Never have, I've never found one of these in England. In all the years I've been um, collecting golf balls. So, presumably these were, these were just sold in America. Next. Oh, that's interesting. It's like uh, an elf, one of Santa Claus's helpers. With a bit of candy, so some sort of Christmas related thing. Just on a spalding ball, doesn't say anything else other than that. That's that. And there should be one more. Yeah, one more. Labatt Blue. Labatt is a Canadian, as you can see, Canadian maple uh, leaf flag. Uh, Labatt is a uh, beer. Canadian beer, and I think it was sold in a few places in England. I'm sure I've bought a pint of Labatt beer over here. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's that dozen. Bit of a mix. Oh no, hang on, just one more. 
and another RCA logo. You'll be able to Google that or look on Wikipedia for more information about RCA, what they do. Yeah, there you go. Pro stuff written in black. That's more like the balls I found before. RCA, and unfortunately, look, that, see that side there is nice and clean. You turn it around and that side there is really discolored. So maybe it was found that way up in, you know, it's been in the sun for days or weeks before it was found, something like that, I presume. So there you go, that's that dozen. Okay, so that's three dozen of film so far. One, two, three. Let's get to the next box. The next box says soda pack. Oh, and it's not just soda for sure. Well, I've just seen some very strange ones. So let's have a look. There's a pink golf ball here with a happy face. Happy, and I presume that's supposed to be an R for registered trademark in that little thing. Happy face, and what does it say? Life is good. And that's somebody's come up with a, that as a trademark for some brand or something. Pink golf ball, not many pink golf balls about. I have to say, for me personally, finding golf balls in the 1980s and 1990s, finding a pink golf ball was like one in a thousand, one in 1500 golf balls would be pink. So not many people use them. Next, brown novelty golf ball that's a rugby ball I've, I've bought some of these recently from china you can get these in china for about a, roughly one us dollar each so they're not worth anything really you can get them that look like tennis balls and baseballs and blah 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 and um you know there's no brand to them they're probably not anywhere near as good as a proper golf ball but just some novelty thing so that's going to be a spare i've already got some of those next a very discolored golf ball very discolored titleist. Uh, titleist. Enjoy Coca Cola. Well, thank you very much. I will. Uh, and the ball is a Titleist K2 Akushnet. Not sure whether I've ever had one of those before. And it's got a very boring, simple dimple pattern. So that is old. Um, just based on the ball design, you know, I would say this predates 1982. And that's a total guess. But. Um, Enjoy Coco, that's got to be quite old. Next, Coca Cola. There we go, lovely jubbly. Um, yeah, obviously, Coca Cola has been sold in England ever since I was born. A bit of a slight scuff, or what do you call those? Slight cut to the ball there, like someone's hacked it with their iron. Um, Coca Cola, yeah, cans of Coca Cola used to be able to buy them. Somewhere between 1986 and 99 used to be about 35 pence for a can, 330 milliliter can of Coca Cola. I'm sure they're much more now. They're probably, I don't know. I mean, I haven't bought a can of Coke for a long time. And obviously, you can buy them in litre bottles and two litre bottles. Uh, next, Jolt Cola. That is a brand I have never heard of in my life. Jolt Cola. Nope. Never heard of that. And TP Gold. That's a new type of ball to me. Yeah, made by Wilson. Jolt Cola. Mm. Okay, I've never heard of it. If it still exists, feel free to send me a case and I'll let you know what I think of it. Next, Diet Pepsi. Um, again, yeah, it's been sold in England at least since the 1980s. This type of ball used to find some of these again somewhere around like 1990, 1991 ish. So that's how I date the ball, somewhere around there. Diet Pepsi. I have to say that the Diet Coca-Cola drinks don't taste too bad compared to the normal ones that have got lots of sugar in. And the flavour-wise, they're not bad. Next, A and W. I have no idea what that company does or what that brand is all about. A and W on an Ultra Wilson 42. Uh, again, that type of ball used to find those somewhere between 1988 and 1991. So that's the date of that. Another Blue Max golf ball, Dunlop, and this one's got Pepsi. Slight wear damage to the logo down the bottom there. Uh, Pepsi in a blue logo like that. Pepsi, and I don't know whether I prefer Pepsi or Coca Cola. To be honest, I haven't tasted either for a while. So next, Seven Up. Yeah, the lemonade drink again been sold in England ever since I've been around. So, um, 
So in the 1980s when I used to go into news agents to get a drink or something, I'm sure I've bought a can of 7-Up before. In England it's a green can. I don't know why that logo is in red. Again, quite an old golf ball. I would date this to 1987 or earlier. Bit of a scuff there, but durable title of 19. Yeah, 7-Up, so fairly old golf ball that. Next, another 7-Up logo. Uh, this time on a Spalding, and you can see it's got a bit of a hack to it from somebody hit the ball hard with an iron. It's just Spalding, nothing else. Next, Welch's Soft Drinks. Now, I've not seen Welch's Soft Drinks, but we get Welch's um, grape drink in cartons here in England, and I tried some recently, and the oof, bit of a weird taste to me and it's not like deadly or nasty but it's not it's not exactly a taste I'd particularly like um, but yeah so that's on a fairly new type of title list and the last one in this particular dozen that's like a what do you call them is it a cardinal in America that red bird there's nothing else on there, so what does that represent? I don't know. What business is that? Anyway, that's that next dozen filmed. Very nice. That's four dozen I filmed so far. I'm probably about halfway through. Yeah, so I should be able to do this within an hour. Obviously, you know, you can pause this video and watch it at another time. You don't have to watch it all in one go. Um, no one's making you watch it all in one go if it's too long for you. And uh, at the end, when you've watched the video, please click like, um, subscribe to me, and look at my other videos. Anyway, let's carry on. So the next packet, Dick's Sporting Goods. Well, I've heard of it, but I've never been into one in, in America. Uh, don't believe that brand's come over to England. And I believe they sell all kinds of different sporting goods. Um, and obviously they do sell golf balls. Next. Bass Pro Shops. I'm amazed fishing is such a big thing in America. Didn't realise it wasn't. Bass Pro Shops, they sponsor a NASCAR racing car. So that's how I know about that brand. So fishing equipment. Top Flight XLTI. Very good condition. I'd say pretty much perfect golf ball. Right? Next. Red Crown Lodge. Don't know where that is. Red Crown Lodge. And that's on the title list. Mm, interesting. Don't know anything about that. Next. Sears Paint for great American homes like yours. Well, Sears is a shop, isn't it? It's like a, a big department store. So... Is that the Sears I'm thinking of, or is it, is, is it different? Is there simply a, a Sears paint company? I don't know. Top flight, that's an old type of top flight. It's building. Um, again, I would have found these before 1989, so... I would date this to the early 1980s, that type of golf ball. Next. Oh, awesome. Columbia Pictures, and I think that's supposed to say Touchstone, because... That's part of that group. Um, what does that say? A unit of the Coca-Cola company. Hey, did Coca-Cola didn't buy Columbia Pictures, did they? What is that? Columbia Pictures. Well, it's hard to... It's hard to work out what that word is. I was thinking touchstone but maybe not um a, a unit of the coca-cola company well i don't know about that but columbia pictures i'm well into my movie so that's a really good one for me to have ah there we go carson's comedy classics i uh, don't know anything about that presumably that's a tv show which i've never seen it and this is a max fly blue max by dunlop um Hmm, Columbia Pictures, anyway, that's a good one for me. I'm into movies. Next, 
Pittsburgh Paints. Never heard of them. Ah, but I've certainly heard of them. PPG. They used to sponsor the IndyCar series. IndyCar racing cars that look like Formula One cars, but they raced in America and Canada. So PPG, they make the paint that goes onto cars coming out of factories. Um, PPG Industries, yeah. So that's what they do. They paint. They come up with the paint for automobiles, cars. PPG. So that's a good one for me to have. Next. Rubber made. Rubber made? What's that? No idea what that business does. And it's an unbranded golf. Well, oh, hang on, no, it's not. Ram. Golden Ram is the brand of golf ball it's on, but that's all it says Ram. So, Rubber made. I don't know what Rubber made does. Next. Access Hollywood. Ah, excellent. Anything to do with Hollywood, I'd collect as well. Film studios, if you've got any of those, let me know. Um, Access Hollywood, well, that's not a channel that's in English TV packages, so I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up myself, what they actually do, what they show. Access Hollywood, that's cool. Next, Radisson Hotel Lansing, well... Radisson Hotels are blooming well everywhere, aren't they? They're one of those chains that are everywhere. They're in England. I don't know what Lansing is. Very good condition ball. Pretty much perfect. Next. Fairfield in uh, Marriott. Well, everybody again. Marriott Hotels are everywhere. Don't know where Fairfield Inn is. Okay. Next, Ooh, what does that say? Not sure. Ah, there we go. Arnold Palmer, that's the type of golf ball. He's obviously a golfer, but Arnold Palmer, SPC. What does that say? 100, I think. SPC 100, that's the type of golf ball. Steel center. Well, I've never had a golf ball that says it's got a steel center. Blimey I mean, now. And then what's the logo then? Is that supposed to be a logo? A W like that? I don't think it's supposed to be an M, is it? What is that? Does anybody know what that is? Steel Center. Presumably that means Steel Center is, is in the ball. I don't think that's the logo, is it? I don't know. Bit of a mystery one, that. Next. Ball. Don't know anything about that company or logo. So that's the next dozen filmed for you. Okay, so I've now done one, two, three, four, five dozen. Let's get to the sixth. In fact, I need a drink. I'm just talking, I need a drink. It's a hot day. Coming back. Okay, let's get to the next dozen. Oh, in the box. What does the box say? Liquor. Liquor. Well, in England, liquor is alcohol. So let's see what we've got. Seagram's 100 Pipers Scotch. I've certainly heard of the Seagram's brand. I've, I've never heard of 100 Pipers. Um, so the logo is on both sides of the ball. A liquid centre ball, number three, but there's no brand to the ball. That could be fairly old. 1980s, 1970s maybe. Next, Seagram's again. Seagram's, and that's presumably a logo as well, seven. So was there a Seagram's seven whiskey or something like that? I don't know. Seagram's okay. And I don't know I don't know about that brand. I don't know if that's a Scottish company or is it an American brand? I don't know. Next, old smoky moonshine. Well moonshine is um that is someone's pen marks, ignore that bit there. Old smoky moonshine, well, moonshine again we understand it as illegally produced alcohol. 
Groovy One X. That's a pretty new Titleist Bellata ball. Very good condition. Next, Booth's Gin. Well, gin, obviously, alcoholic drink. Don't ever ask me about my gin experience. That was. Ooh. The things you do when you're a teenager. Booth's Gin. I'm not sure I know anything about that brand, really. Um, that looks to be a pretty new type of title list. Next. Old Charter. That's definitely a brand I've not heard of. So I don't know what type of alcohol that would be. That type of golf ball used to get these somewhere between about 1988 and 1991. So that's that date for that. Next, a pretty discoloured Titleist, so this could be quite old. Early times. Early times, no idea what that is. It's on a Titleist, a Kushnet DT. I believe the DT stands for Durable Titleist. A Kushnet is the company that makes Titleist golf balls. But you can see it, it looks pretty yellow and Discolored. No idea what that company is. The logo. Next, another look at look at the difference. When you brand new golf balls, you know, made in the t year 2000, 2020 or so, really bright yellow. Look at look at the difference. Dow. Oh, that's a Dow is a chemical company. Yeah, Dow, and it's an unbranded golf ball. Ah. Uh huh. Hold on. Cadwell. What's that first letter supposed to be? A word that would make sense would be Rover, but I don't think that's an R. It's not a D for Dover. What is that? That's not particularly clear, is it? No, not sure. Anyone knows what that is, please tell me. Say so at 37 minutes into the video, the Dow logo is, and then tell me what that is. Cadwell what? Next, um, oh, I've got a lion logo. No idea what that character is. Doesn't say anything. So, does anybody know what that is? Please let me know. Next, frog's breath. Ah, cool. I've got a pond and I've got loads of frogs in my pond, so that's a good logo for me to have. Frog's breath. No idea what that is. And, uh, ooh, what on earth is this? What's Grant? Titanium 90. Is Grant the type of golf ball? Uh, that's, oh, no, it's not. That's stupid me. Turn it around. It's a Top Flight Hot XL Titanium 90. But why has it got two logos in? It's got Grant, and it's also got Frog's Breath. Okay. No idea. Um, next, Johnny Walker Black Label Scotch. Yeah, that's a very famous brand of Scotch. They've they've got their that product placed in many a TV show and film. Twelve years old Scotch that is. Um, I'm sure I've had some of those when I've been in pubs in England, mixed with Coca Cola, whiskey and cola. I don't like the taste of whiskey on its own. And um, I'm not a big fan of alcohol at all, really. Next. Ooh. Yes, please. $5,000 golf ball. Yes, that'll do. Sheraton, I believe that is. Sheraton Hotels. Oh, and I think this is one the logos I asked about. So Sheraton, I believe somewhere there's a hotel room you can, and it costs you $5,000 a night now. $5,000. Let's think about that. That's probably about four, four thousand, four thousand five hundred pounds. I mean, that's to most people in England, that's way more than a month's wages to stay for one night in a hotel. So, crikey, where's that? Is that in Las Vegas or something? Jesus. Next, uh, army camouflage kind of golf ball. Some weird novelty ball. That's all that is. It's just a camouflage golf ball. Okay, so that's that dozen. Bit of a weird mixture, that lot. 
So that's now six dozen golf balls filmed. Now uh, let's carry on. Like I said, don't worry folks, at least four of these boxes are completely empty, so hang all those there. And as I said, feel free to pause this video and watch the rest of it another day. You don't have to watch an hour long video in one day. That's the beauty of YouTube. Come back another day and have a look. I've already said, uh, if you've got logos for sale, let me know. I am buying, I am collecting. Um, obviously, I understand if you're in another country to me. I'm in England, United Kingdom. Happy to pay shipping. Don't find the cheapest shipping you can, though, obviously. Um, that looks like the UPS truck. Extra long. Um, well, ugh, just trying to zoom in and lost focus. Hold on, let's get the focus back. That looks like a UPS truck to me. But that writing or whatever on there is so small. No, I can't get... Let me try and get the camcorder lens closer to the ball. No, that's impossible to read. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's UPS. United Parcel Service. We do get these trucks in England. Um, oh, does that say UPS there? It's so small, I honestly can't read it. Yeah, there we go, UPS, I was right. And then we also get planes from America land at Stansted every night. Well, one or two planes a night. Way less than FedEx, but... Uh, oh, that's a nice, that's a Boeing 747 plane. What's the airline? Let's have a look. Alright, I'm going to have to try and work out that. Um... I think that says United Parcel so so that's a UPS plane supposed to be anyway there we go good one for me that's probably why I selected it because I said I'm into aviation and as I mentioned before there you go Federal Express FedEx we get those planes coming to London Stansted every day sometimes two or three uh, a mixture of MD 11s Airbus A300s um, 777 occasionally I think so FedEx, Feather Express. Oh, there you go, you've got a plane logo. Cool. Ah, now this type of golf ball, again, used to get these somewhere between about 1986 and 1989. So this ball dates from the mid-1980s or earlier. FedEx. So that's um, parcel service. Post parcels worldwide. There we go. UPS, the same as that truck I was telling you about. United Parcel Service. And that's on that type of ball. Hush Puppies. Now, isn't that a brand of shoes? I think it is. Hush Puppies. Gold Cup. That's a new type of golf ball to me. Very old looking golf ball. So you've got Hush Puppies on both sides of the ball. Dunlop, okay, Dunlop Gold Cup. Well, that's the first time I've had that type of ball. That looks old. So I'm going to say that's... That's got to be like 1970s, I would have thought. Next. United States Senate. Ooh. That's definitely a nice logo to have. United States Senate. Wow. Very nice logo, golden, it's hard to say. Oh, it's almost black, but it's kind of a very dark blue, I think. Yeah, if I zoom in, you can see it. Nice logo, United States Senate. Well, I like that. That's a good one. Next. Servo, Servomation. No idea what that is. Servomation, unbranded type of golf ball. Um, no idea what that is. Never, never seen it before. Next, Service Master. Oops. Um, God, that's a bright orange golf ball. Service Master sounds familiar. Can't think what that business does. Unbranded golf ball. Next, 
Stanley Steamer, and then what does that say down there? Carpet Cleaner. Stanley Steamer Carpet Cleaner. Okay, not heard of that business before. And that's funny, Callaway is the type of golf ball. CB1 is the type of golf ball. CB1 is a postcode in Cambridge, the city that I'm in, in England. Next, Pip. No idea what that is. That kind of, that looks like a mailbox kind of a shape in America, but I don't know what Pip is. Um, pinnacle, just an unbranded pinnacle. Pip, no, nope, don't know what that is. Next, Avis, that's a car rental company. So you can go and hire a car for a weekend or a week or whatever. Uh, again, Pinnacle, Pinnacle 90. So 90 compression. And the last one in this particular dozen is, what is that? Miami Post Office. Okay. Miami, Florida, never been there. I don't know, is that is that a type of golf ball? What would that be? Looks like a golden eagle, doesn't it? Anyway, Miami Post Office. So that's a mixture of stuff there. Very nice. So how many have I done there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've done seven dozen so far. Empty, 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 empty. So I may have... Oh, that's empty. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's less than I thought. So I've got three dozen to go. Let's carry on. Next one says... What does that say? Something... Biz Corp. I don't know. So the next lot, Rico, Rico. Um, they make photocopiers, don't they? So unbranded golf ball with just the Rico brand on it. So yeah, that's a company that makes things like photocopiers and I don't know if they make fax machines, probably stuff like that. Next, DuPont, so that's a chemical company. I think that's the company that was in the film 